Yeah, it's your boy Bowles when we wait. <clears throat> Bring you another video. Um This is the WrestleMania 32 um predictions preview, whatever you want to call it. Um I have expressed my displeasure with the card. Um In my group, the PWL, you know, shout out to them. But yeah, um, I was saying that the like the card is not the greatest. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's the worst either. Um, I'm trying to think of maybe WrestleMania nine, maybe, but probably at the time it was, it was probably a good card. But you know, like you know, like. Just like looking back at WrestleMania Nine, you be like, "Oh my God!" Well, it well well well. It showed that it wasn't as good because uh, WrestleMania Nine was terrible. So yeah, um, yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm watching uh, WrestleMania Eight when uh, Savage beat Flair for the title. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, WrestleMania 32, April, April 3rd, 2016. Excuse me, let me get on camera. Uh, 2016, uh, it's in at and Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, uh, they got 11 matches, I believe. Yeah, uh, the booking, um, well, they had... It's crazy because, it, I mean, they had a lot of injuries, man. Um, Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, John Cena, Sting. I mean, that's I mean, like that's four major, you know, that's four major, um, you know, talents right there, and they could have used them. You know, they were, I mean, they would, they would have been a big help on this card. Um. Yeah. Um. They have eleven matches where um uh, out the eleven I'm like hyped about like probably probably around four maybe three or four of them. Um but uh the booking could have been way better, man. Um it, I mean after watching NXT last night, NXT Dollars they got a lot. I mean, they gonna have to pull some shit out their ass. Literally, pull some shit out their ass. All right, and I'm talking about reaching the ass and pull it out. Because watching NXT last night, they got a lot to do. And look, it was only five matches on the motherfucker. All right, they had five matches on it. Compared to eleven matches, this is developmental. We're talking about. They just made it similar. Oh, I'm trying to think. So, uh, remember how superstars used to be back in the day, but it, but it, but it was still like the main roster, though. You know what I'm saying you know, it used to come on for like an hour, you know, you know, weekly, whatever. And I, you know, that's what NXT is, but it's for developmental. Um, you know, it's for getting, you know, people their mic skills up there. You know, like the wrestling, and um, they, and like the way NXT is operating now, it's like it's a. I mean, it's like a train that that the break them fucked up, and and like it's gonna keep going. Um, they getting all the talent. In the world, um, when you know what's funny is that people people think that NXT is not WWE. <laughs> WWE owns NXT, like you know what I'm saying. I mean, like Triple H and them run it, but WWE. I mean, like Vince eating off this shit, so it's not like. Um, 
WWE don't got no, you know, they don't have no handprints on it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, some people is thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, NXT, they got a wonderful thing going on down there. And and uh, I'm just and uh, I'm just thinking about what they did last night in WrestleMania 32. It's, look, they got a lot to do. To even top that, Sami Zayn and, and fuckers, and uh, what's the boy name? Shinsei, Shinsei. I can't even say his damn name right. <laughs> My man Nakamura. That's what I'm gonna say, Nakamura. Sami and Sami and Nakamura had a great, great, great match. Um. So yeah. So the booking have been right. The injuries fucked them up. Um, but, um, I'm gonna try to enjoy it tomorrow. Um, but if it's, but if it's ass, it's ass. So you will be hearing from motherfuckers. Um, you know, people going to be snapping tomorrow. Um, going to be a lot of posts, a lot of videos. Uh, people going to be booing Roman. Um, that's if you win. Um, they're going to have a lot of shit going on tomorrow. So make sure y'all stay tuned. All right, all right, so let me get to this shit. Uh, we got three pre-show matches, and they got eight main card matches. First match, Kalisto and Ryback. Sorry, Kalisto. It's going to be a new U.S. champ. I got Ryback. Um, I don't know how the fuck he got to this fucking match. Um, I was better off seeing him on, on, on the damn Andre the Giant Battle Royale. Uh, Kalisto and Ryback. Oh, my God. Um, it's a good thing that it's on the pre-show. Um, but I'm going to go with Ryback. Um, Total Divas versus Bad and Blind. 10 Diva tag match. Um, whatever team that even Marie is on, I'm going with the opposite. So I'm going with Bad and, I'm going with Bad and Blind. Um, you know, that's team, uh, that's team Lana, Summer Rae. Naomi, Emma, and Tamina. Uh, Total Divas, Brie Bella Page, Natalia, Alicia Marie, and I said Alicia Marie. Alicia Fox and Eva Marie. Uh, Eva Marie came on Raw on Monday. Um, it was like. They could have came up with somebody better than Eva, Eva, Eva Marie, man. Um, that don't, that didn't make no damn sense. But yeah, uh, Eva Marie was a mystery partner, and they thought that she was going to get a face reaction. That was my face when I seen it. When I when I came on Tuesday, I was like. Eva Marie, out of out of all motherfuckers, Eva Marie, and they thought she was gonna get a face reaction. Yeah, they yeah they definitely got face reactions. All right, Usos versus the Dudley Boys tag. Um, I thought it was I, I thought it was gonna be a table match, but it might change. Um, I'm going with Team Dudleys. Go above with Ray and Devon. Um, I'm I'm actually glad that they're um, back, but they could be booked a little bit better. Uh, it, I mean, they turned them hill real quick. Um, it wasn't that much longer after their debut. Uh, all right, I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna come back. Uh. Mm. All right, the New Day versus the League of Nations three on four handicap match. Um, I got the New Day. Um, that's one thing I said. Um, when you're looking at NXT, right? They had a wonderful tag team match last night. With two good ass tag teams. With potential to be great. 
if not ruined by the WWE. But down NXT, they are booked great and they put on very, very good matches. The WrestleMania doesn't have a tag team title match. Let that shit sink in. WrestleMania does not have a tag title match. Instead, they just put them all in the same match and it's a 304 handicap match. Look at the names on this match. Sheamus, King Barrett, Del Rio, Rusev, Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, Big E. Well, at least they're getting a mania check with that. Um, but I got the New Day. Uh, AJ Styles versus Jericho. I got AJ Styles. Um, you will get his WrestleMania moment. But I like the book in the AJ Styles. Like, I mean, AJ, you know, that was my, I mean, that was like people um, concerned. I mean, like with AJ signed. Cause like they was like they don't know what they don't know what he's gonna do when it comes to the booking. So so what so what so what they do is they put him with Jericho. They was a tag team. Um, it, it looked like Jericho was gonna turn on him. And then they they had a tag team. And they lost the title match. And then uh, that's when Jericho, you know, you know, he turned him. Um, you know, I've been, you know, I've been liking like the AJ John, like you know what I'm saying, like it's been, it's been cool with me, like you know, I, I, I haven't had no issues with it. Um, I just want to know what they're gonna do after WrestleMania, cause he need to get away from Jericho. Um, the best thing I would hope he would do is get an IC title match. Um, be in. I mean, like, be in that um, conversation with the uh, or the U.S. title or something. I mean, you know, but he's all right. I mean, he's doing okay on the mid card. Um, all right, so let's get to the main matches. Oh yeah, uh, I did the Giant Battle Royal. Um, I picked. Uh, I picked the Big Show. Um. The IC title match. Um, they got a ladder match. I believe with seven guys in it. Um, K, you know, KO defending gets a whole bunch of um, jobbers, mid carders, um, guys that can can be used right with with a good booking. Um, but I'm rolling with KO to win. Um, I hope KO win. He just got the belt back, so why would they have him lose again? Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna, so yeah, I'm gonna go with KO. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with KO. Uh, Charlotte, Becky, Sasha, women's WWE Divas. Championship triple threat match. I'm gonna go with Sasha. She's the favorite. Um, she's more likely to win. But I will not be surprised if Charlotte retains. <laughs> um, but I hope Ric Flair is not at ringside, and I'm pretty sure he will be. He will get involved. Um. All right. So yeah. So like, these are the three main matches. Um. Let me see which one I'll go first. Uh, Dean Ambrose versus Brock Lesnar in a street fight. Um, I got to go with my man Brock, man. I think Brock is going to beat Dean. Um, I'll be very surprised if Dean beat him. If they, I mean, if they become to be Brock. But I'm going to go with Brock. Um, Brock probably going to go away for a couple... For a couple months after this, but um, he been cool because like he been real. Um, uh, like Brock been seen a lot. 
Um, he's been having more appearances, more than usual, um, since uh, like the Royal Rumble, like before that, and then he had the Rumble, and then then uh, he was at Fast Lane. Like he been uh, he been wrestling, like he been appearing on some shit. He uh, he did the uh, WWE event. He was in New York, I believe. Um, they were doing a whole lot with him, but I got Brock being Dean. Um. Shane versus Taker. Hell in the cell. If Shane win, he win control of Raw. If Taker lose, he's gone from WrestleMania. Oh, uh, man. This is one of the craziest matches that I've seen booked in a long time. Um, it should go either way. Um, I don't know what the fuck is they going. I mean, I don't know where they're going with that. You know, I just don't know if Shane might like, need. Like me, like the guy I am, I watched wrestling for all my life. Take a beat, be all. I mean, he beat everybody, but Brock had WrestleMania. He beat all these Hall of Famers and, and legends and you know good wrestlers at WrestleMania, right? He beat Triple H three times, Shawn Michaels twice. He beat Diesel. He beat he beat the whole clique and shit at WrestleMania, right? And then. He had the duds with uh Giant Gonzalez. But shit, um King Kong Bundy, um Jimmy Snooker, um, Rick Flair, Kane, uh Big Show and Prince Albert. I mean, he been Randy Orton. I mean he has wrestled a lot of different different guys. And he lost one match at WrestleMania. So you telling me even Bray even Bray Wyatt last year. So like you telling me that Shane McMahon's gonna beat Undertaker, he's gonna have his second loss at WrestleMania. The only way he'll do that is if some is if if, if uh, somebody come back and fuck up Undertaker. That's the only way he's gonna win. He can't he it's not believable, man, to me, okay? Like, Shane cannot beat Undertaker, okay? One on one, okay? He would have to, he would have to need a whole lot of help. That's why I got the Undertaker beat Shane. Um, the last match. <sighs> the last match. Is Undertaker? That's the Undertaker. Roman Reigns versus Triple H for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. People have been going ham. People don't like the shit. People not feeling it. People just. Just downright disrespectful when it comes to this match. It's mainly because of Roman. Um, Roman gets a lot of hate. Um, he gets a lot of hate. Uh, he's Samoan. Um, he only there because The Rock. Um, you know, nobody was saying that when he was with the Shield. It seemed like ever since he got his uh, push from. I mean, like, I mean, like, ever since Seth turned on him, that push after that, it was just a wreck. Um, they were just like, oh, my God, why is he here? It was like, they was acting like he just came up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the bunch of them, he was in the show for, like, two years. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's what happens. Like, you know, like, they have him in, in the group, and then they'll break him up, and then they'll push him solo. Tag team or group. They did it with Shawn Michaels. They did it with Bret Hart. Uh, they did it with a lot of people. You know, so um, you know, people hating on on um on, on Roman. Um, I don't understand why. Um I, I actually like Roman, but you know, he gets a lot of hate that you know, it's I mean I I mean I I mean I don't know, like me, personally, I've been saying this 
for a long time. He shouldn't be talking at all. It should just go, let him go out there, kick ass, and go the fuck home. You know what I mean? Like, nobody don't want to see him on a mic like that. You know, even though that's what the, like the WWE try to do more with these guys is to have, like, a lot of storytelling. And, uh, yeah, so Roman, he be on the mic a lot, and that's probably why people don't like him. They say he can't wrestle. Um, he's okay. I mean, he, I mean, he's okay. I have seen way worse wrestlers than that, okay? Um, the Great Khali, uh, Giant Gonzalez, um, Vince Russo, David Arquette, all these motherfuckers, but Roman is the one to get all the hate. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know, it's, I'm, I, I'm like scared to pick Roman, you know, he's like the favorite. He's the favorite. Um, Triple H is um, expected <laughs> to do the job. Uh, they say it's an, they say it, they turn into a no DQ match. They're probably going to announce that during the uh, during the pre show, or whatever. But um, when it comes to Roman, man, like he I mean, he gets shit on a lot, man, and you know, I have seen way worse guys than that, man. Um, but I got Roman winning. Um, I hope he turned hill. Um, the only way he'll turn hill is if he, if uh, Rock come out. Well, you know, that's it, 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 what I'm thinking. Like, if they're going to do the hill thing, have Rock come out and and he'll try to, you know, interfere in the match. You know, Roman wins, and then Roman turns on Rock. You know, like, you know, they'll do something, you know, something, something, something like that. You know what I mean, but if they, they're going to go with a face turn, well, if they're going to keep Matt's face, I'm all cool with that. But, but, but Vince and like all the head guys at WWE, they they don't want that to happen, man. They gonna, I mean, like we are new fans is gonna crap on this shit anyway. The fans is gonna crap on anything Roman does. Um, you know, like it really doesn't matter. Um, niggas, I mean, like people gonna be hating, man. So you know, if he win, like it ain't gonna be shocking to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because they've been, they've been pushing them for the longest, though. You know, but you know, it's yeah. You know, it's like a flip the coin, flip the coin up. You know what I mean? And I see where it lands, man. Because um, this shit right here, it's I mean, it's gonna be ugly, man. And and like they're gonna have a hundred thousand people there, and then it's gonna be ninety five. That's gonna be boom. We had 95 people that's born. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I mean, I don't know. Like, it's, it's going to be crazy, yo. That shit going to be crazy. Um, we don't know which, which mess is, is going to end the show. Um, Shane will take her or uh, Triple H or Roman. Um, if that the best thing for them to do is to end it with Shane and Taker. Um, because that shit is gonna be fucked up. But uh but yeah, that's pretty much it, man. This shit went twenty four minutes, man. I need to cut this shit off. I don't think nobody gonna well people don't watch my shit any fucking way, so but um I'ma still share this shit. You know what I mean, just to you know what I mean, just to do it, you know what I'm saying? So um but yeah, um that's my WrestleMania thirty two uh preview. Uh, prediction video. Um, it's your boy, Files Move Away. And I'm out of here, man. My back killing me, man. Move. Deuces.